Hi, I'm Felicity and I'm a paleontologist and I study Ediacaran fossils, which are about half a billion years old and they're the first evidence of animal life that we know on the planet and they're also the first animals that we can see with our naked eye. So before Ediacaran fossils, everything was microscopic um, and they're really important because they are the first potential animals on earth that we know of. Uh, so we think these are animals because some of them left trace fossils in the sediments that they were preserved in. So Dickinsonia was a big, round, uh, flat, uh, worm-like organism. It left traces uh, in the sea floor where it was moving and feeding on the sea floor. And there was this gooey algal mat or microbial mat covering the sea floor at the time. And we think Dickinsonia fed on that mat. We have Sprigina, which is now the state fossil emblem. And this one's really iconic because it's the first fossil on Earth with a defined head and it's also got bilateral symmetry, which is what most animals have, we humans have, where our right and our left are mirror images of each other. And this one doesn't leave any trace fossils, but it's got body symmetries that suggest that it was probably an animal. We're employing lots of different methods, um, analytical methods, to try and understand these fossils. And Parvan Carina is one such fossil. Uh, we think it might have been an animal because it's got that bilateral symmetry and it's got um, a head end and a tail end, but we don't know for sure. So um, we use these different methods to look at its morphology, look at uh, its shape and how its shape changes with its size. And from that, we can tell that it had a very organised development. So it started out as a juvenile, um, quite round, and then as it got older and older, I guess, or bigger and bigger, it changed shape. Um, also, it became, we think it became more flexible as it got bigger and bigger. Um, and all of these things tell us different information about how, how it might have lived and interacted with the um, submarine environment around it. Ediacaran fossils are so important because learning about them might actually give us uh, more information about how animal life evolved on Earth in the first place. And uh, South Australia is so special because we have some of the best assemblages of Ediacaran fossils right here in the Flinders Ranges. Tune in to the Great South Australian Fossil Debate through Facebook Live on the Sunday 23rd of August at 4pm through Dinosaur University and Dinosaurs Down Under.